In Bangladesh, 17% of the country lies only three feet above sea level. As global warming causes sea levels to rise, the country's low-lying areas are at risk of being inundated. Increased cyclone activity and storm surges are a particularly imminent threat to islands like Panishanta, which is in danger of being wiped off the map entirely, and the lives of the women who live here hang in the balance. This island is, is shrinking every year. And you see how it works, Michael. You have the land, and it's continuously you know, with one big wave, it keeps moving back. Falling and away. Yeah, Absolutely. I notice cracks in the mud. Yes. A big storm surge and all of this we washed away. This is continuous. You know, you can try to repair it, but, <laughs> you know, you can't fight against nature. So. Runa takes me inside a shack where we meet Shilpi and Toma. Shilpi has been living here for 12 years, since she was 17. <laughs> Toma was brought and left here by her husband. They are just two of many women working and living on this island, once the biggest brothel in Bangladesh. Have, have either of the two of them um, experienced uh, this uh, island shrinking day by day? If you see outside, there is that little water hyacinth floating. It was much beyond that. And within the last two, three years, it has broken down to this level. So it's really shrinking fast. And she, she says she witnesses it right in front of her eyes, you know. Were they here for a cyclone sitter and or Isla? And the water had gone up right over the roof at the time of Isla. You see, one of the disastrous things are that most of the village could go to a cyclone shelter but they were not allowed to enter the cyclone shelter. Because of what they Because do. of their profession, yeah. So they were not allowed to get in. So they had to stay here and bear the cyclone. Wow. So how do you deal with that, you know? Shunned by society, these women already have very little. And as their island shrinks, climate change threatens to take away one of the few things they have left, each other. Here, God forbid, if one of the girls go and somebody does something to her, you know, you have the whole, you have the whole group to answer to. And when you are alone, you can be victims of rape, you can be victims of anything, you know. So, I think they will lose a lot of their strength, whatever little they have, if they, if they are scattered out. Climate change creates problems for every aspect of this society. Those girls don't have any options. They're there on that shrinking island of mud. As we were leaving, there was a girl who was sitting sort of off on her own, and I know she'd been watching us over the course of the day. I saw her face sort of break. She started to cry as we pulled away. There was a sense that She didn't want to be there, she wasn't happy there, and she would like to be able to leave herself. 